Okay, here we are on day six for Marion's 31 days. And I'm getting ready to hit Joann's and Tuesday morning. Um, a lot to accomplish you know, on a power shopping day. My stores are so far away. All my craft stores are nearly two hours away. So uh, I'll be doing this for most of the day and hope to get this posted later. Hi everyone, I just wanted to uh, show you a few things that I picked up from uh, the craft stores. This is a uh, journal book. And then some post-it notes and um, little post-it tabs that match. And then this is just a magnet, a magnetic tablet. And then some more post-it notes. And these are little gift cards. And there's a matching pen. And also nail files. And I'm going to me just minim minimally embellish these and um, get some gifts made up because I don't have, uh, I really don't have anything extra made up at this time. And those were all from Mike's from the dollar bin. And the reason this is part of my um, video for an accomplished accomplishment is because um, it's an all-day ordeal to go shopping at the craft stores because they're so far away. Uh, we leave early in the morning, drop my daughter off at school, and then um, I run all my errands and do my shopping. And then it's usually 9 or 11 p.m. by the time we get home. Last night it was about 11 p.m. so I'm finishing up my video for yesterday. Here's some new bling I picked up from the dollar bin also. Y'all might be interested in that. And then this was also from Michael, some of the graduated pearls. And these were a dollar a pack on clearance. Okay, I also talked about doing this, um, this monthly planner book. So I picked up the paper that I wanted to do um, that book with. This is one of the new die cut with a view stacks. And it was um, it was half price. So I picked this up at Joann's. I can get it open. Uh, and I picked these papers, one because um, I love botanical prints. And with it being a book that will um, deal with gardening, cooking, and, uh, you know, crafting and general planning, um, I thought this paper would be perfect to use. There we go. And this is a glittered stack, and it's very, very, very pretty. Uh, my friend Dina, she went shopping with me yesterday. This is a glittered page. Let me see. And she said, oh yeah, I just saw that online. And she said, um, seeing it online really didn't do the paper justice. But this is a glittered page. And then this is also a glittered page. This one is not. This one is glittered. And this is glitter. This one is not. And this is a silhouette of dogwoods in the corner. One of my favorite um, flowers. And this is glittered. This is not. This also has some of my favorite flowers on it. It has some um, old-fashioned roses and 
uh, some camellia blossoms. It's very, very pretty. And this is glittered. And this is a glittered page. I thought this was just beautiful. And this is glittered, the butterflies and the birdcage. Very, very pretty. This reminds me of Valentine's. So uh, this may be my February page. Sure. Okay, I'm back. Had to take care of the. We had um, some problems with our furnace, and our heating guy was here. So, but this is a real nice stack. Um, new die cut with a view, half off at Joann's right now. And then I picked, also picked these stickers up at Joann's for a dollar. And I'll make some grand adhesions with those using some uh, circle punches and things of that nature. And then these uh, Tim Coffee journal pockets. Um, are really nice and they also go with the paper really well. So don't be afraid to look at um, different manufacturers and mix and match your papers and embellishments because sometimes they work really well together. Another thing you might want to check out is that Joann's has um, some of their 8x8 stacks on clearance for $3.97. This is the die cut with a few metallic stack. So that was really nice. And then their value pack uh, cardstock stacks are also um, on sale for $1.99, so I needed to pick up a couple colors that I was running low on. And another interesting thing that I found, I had seen this before and I picked a couple up. These are sheets of felt that are embossed. This one's navy blue and a dark brown. And these will work out really great for um, uh, to use as a the binder for the spine actually when I bind minis so um, and those were just um, 50 cents and the sheets are 9 by 12 sheets so I'm gonna get to work on some things I wanna um, create something today for today's challenge and I'll see y'all later